Hello all, welcome in another SAP tutorial of ERP SAP team and today we are going to discuss how to release or approve the APO advanced purchase order or vendor contract in SAP. So we have two options. Uh, one, you can approve the advanced purchase order using SAP workflow by sending the advanced purchase order from your uh, initiator to competent authority okay and the second one is you can directly release this advanced purchase order from your uh, release strategy okay using sap menu path okay so basically we we have three stages of the release first one is a purchaser okay second one is a initiator and uh, third one is the competent authority so competent authority is a higher authorities uh, to approve this purchase order purchaser is usually finance person who uh, give the financial approval of this purchase or you can decide you can decide at your on your level who is uh, authority to approve this uh, apo at the p1 level that is the purchaser level okay so basically we will see uh, in this uh, practical way and uh, these information are for just knowledge sharing and uh, just understanding purpose okay for the these are the test data which uh, we are going to show you for just an understanding purpose okay if you have any query in your mind please mention in the comment section okay these things will surely help you to create the advanced purchase order okay so we are going to uh, check how can we do this okay advanced purchase order uh, is uh, created before the purchase order okay i repeat again one thing advanced purchase order is uh, created before the purchase order and uh, uh, before we are frequently creating the purchase order purchase advanced purchase order with respect to pr okay first we create the pr then we create the apo then we create the po okay see uh, we are going in the sap menu path uh, logistic material management purchasing and here is the outline agreement and see here is the outline agreement and uh, we we going in the release strategy okay the release code r1 and release group you can choose the release group according to your circle okay because uh, in the drop down option there is so many circle and uh, scope of list is RHM. you can change your and here you can fill your advanced purchase order document number okay me 35k is a document transaction code and this is our apo we can click on this apo okay release set okay this is the alternate mod for the releasing of the advanced purchase order okay now we are going to set this r2 okay we are going to set this R2 level, okay? And uh, release group is the same, okay? Because for the different different uh, circle code, uh, there is a different different release group in your company. So it will it may be vary in your company, but the process is the same. That is ME 35K, okay? So R2 is for the competent authority, and uh, we have again uh, the same advanced purchase order release and the same so at our apo or our vendor contract has been released at r1 and r2 level but the third level is the purchaser level okay purchaser level means uh, uh, we have to set this uh, p1 level uh, to overall approval of this advanced purchase order okay so uh, we are trying to do this same the same release group is there do okay and uh, here you can uh, fill this advanced purchase order number again and execute once you execute then r1 r2 and p1 uh, release flag has been set and now your advanced purchase order is ready for the uh, print and the creation of the purchase order okay <laughs> okay now we have set that our apo has been approved at all the three level okay now we are uh, just uh, giving a few step that generally uh, 
if he had done any tender for the procurement of the material or procurement of the services then first we have to create the purchase requisition okay and with respect after approval of that purchase requisition we create the advance purchase order or vendor contract and in the vendor contract or in the vendor apo we have a, a validity period validity means our contract is valid from this date to this date okay and uh, there is a target quantity okay target value or target quantity so there is a limit set because for uh, we have a target value is 1000 quantity is 20 okay so we cannot create we can we are not able to create the purchase order for more than 20 quantity or more than 1000 values okay so please keep in your mind while creating the advanced purchase order what is the validity of our apo okay discuss with your competent authority to create this uh, validity level at your end because you are not allow you are not supposed to allow to create the advanced purchase uh, purchase order beyond this limit okay and the target value once we create the purchase order uh, using apo you can use the adopt method okay because in apo you have already linked the purchase requisition where we have defined all the services so once you create the purchase order then services is picked from the purchase requisition and target value and target quantity is picked from advanced purchase order so in this purchase order you have a very plenty of facilities to create your purchase order in the timely manner because and the second thing is once you are creating the bank guarantee of the vendor in uh, fico module then apo is required at that time if you are creating the uh, bank guarantee uh, in sap fico module then this advanced purchase order number is required so now it's mandatory if you have a bank guarantee or uh, any tender of any contract then you should create the purchase requisition first and then you create the advanced purchase order and simultaneously once you approve the advanced purchase order then create the bank guarantee because bank guarantee is mandatory in the customer field data of the purchase order and you should maintain the same entry at the customer data field okay so this this will really help to you okay we will also tell you how to create the advanced purchase order okay how to print advanced purchase order in the pdf form okay and what is the importance of the advanced purchase order okay so we will see these things in the separate manner okay see uh, we are creating the purchase order in uh, using me 31k me 32k is change and me 33k is for c in me 30k uh, release to date r1 r2 p1 final release is r1 r2 p1 you can also check these things that uh, what are the level of the release strategy okay see we have a uh, creation transaction code of the advanced purchase order is me 31k we have to change the transaction code is uh, me 32k and uh, display using me 33k maintain supplement is me 34k and release using yummy 35k okay so we have these are the transaction codes okay so thank you for watching this sap tutorial this sap tutorial we are we have created for uh, knowledge sharing understanding and for the understanding purpose and thank you for watching if you have any query in your mind please mention in the comment section and uh, if you think this is a really helpful sap tutorial for you please uh, make a like button press the like button it will support us and uh, improve our motivational level okay and uh, please mention in the comment section really helpful for you and uh, if you're new on our youtube channel erp sap team then please subscribe and do not forget to press the all uh, bell icon notification to receive all my sap basic tutorial notifications okay thank you happy learning bye bye